Welcome back, sporting fans, for our live coverage of the F1 Championship. And today we will be doing the qualification round here at Sunny Sunny Silverstone. First up, he was last seen on a motorbike, but now he is throwing his hat into the ring of F1. And that is the one, the only, John. Monday! Just entering his name into the system. And here we go, British Grand Prix Silverstone. Qualification. Like I said, we have beautiful, beautiful weather today here at Sunny Silverstone. And John's off. Let's see how he takes the first corner. Oh, yes, just missed the bollards. John has been practicing and he's only had a bunch of crashes, but hopefully it will be all right on the night, as they say. Oh, going down the straight. Oh, 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 he shot the corner too fast. Oh, that's gonna cost him precious seconds. Here we go. Ah, oh, he's building his speed back up. Can he make up for lost time? Probably not, but we'll see. Oh, oh, no, that's not too good either. Poor, poor Mr. Bundy. He really should have put more time into practicing being an F1 driver. But you know what they say about you got to try and live your dreams. Or maybe all those crashes he had on the motorcycle went to his head. I'm talking about concussion and brain injury. Oh no, he's just been overtaken by the car he overtook. Oh dear. Oh, he's finding it difficult to pick up speed. Oh, he still managed to hit the sign. Oh dear, this is not going well for Mr. Bundy. Struggling to pick up speed, going around all these bends. Second lap now, can he pick up some extra... Oh no, he hit it again. I don't think F1 is really Mr. Bundy's forte. But he's giving it his all. You can see the determination in his eyes. He will not let this go. The cheering crowd for their local son. Local as in he's from Britain, not from Silverstone. John Bundy hails from the sunny Isle of Wight. Well, not sunny during the winter, but the sunny Isle of Wight. Has once again been overtaken. Oh, this is a terrible time. Terrible, terrible time. Can he make it around at least one of the bends without hitting the signs? Through the tunnel. Ah, uh, managed to overtake. Hey, that seemed to be a bad corner. Maybe he's finally getting the hang of this. Screeches around another corner. And another. And one more to go before the end. And he's over the line. Let's see how he does on the leaderboard. Sadly, 1 minute 23, 66. Leads him at position number nine. Such a pity, such a pity. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that coverage of the qualification. We'll see you next time when we take on the main event. Goodbye for now.